Hi guys, continuing our notes on set theory. Uh, today we're going to be looking at union, intersection and difference. What I'll do is give a very brief overview of each of these and a very brief example as well. Intersection. A intersect B and notice this isn't an N, it's uh, the sign for intersect, intersection. A intersect B is called the intersection. Of A and B. Uh, we can write a intersect B is equal to set X such that X is an element of A and X is an element of set B as well. A quick example. So say we have a uh, set 2, 4 and 6 as elements. Uh, and we want to see the intersect of this set with another set with elements 4, 5 and 6. The answer is the set 4, 6. Why is that? Well, what elements are in set A and set B? Uh, 4 and 6 occur here and here. Okay, now we're going to have a quick look at union. Um, how similar is union to intersect? Uh, quite similar, and in fact they occur in many theories together. Uh, union, we write A union B. Again, it's almost like a, uh, a flip of the intersect. is called the union of A and B. And we can write that A union B is equal to a set with X such that X is either an element of set A or X is an element of B. So basically we're taking everything from A and everything from B. So it's this or this. Either one we're happy with. Um, a quick example just to sort of visualize this for you. If we take our two sets again, 2, 4 and 6, union 4, 5, and 6. Well, we can write them all down. Obviously, there's no need to um, include uh, sort of multiple versions of the same number. So we have 2, 4, 5, 6. And as you can see, 2, 4, 5, 6. Every number in here is included here as well. Finally, we're going to finish on the difference. And we write difference B is called the difference of A and B. Now, one trick to be careful of is which order you write these two in. And that will be clear when I write the sort of visualization process. So A difference B is equal to a set with X such that X is an element of A and X is not an element 
of B. So what does this mean? Well, if I give you an example, and we have our same sets again, 2, 4, and 6, uh, 4, 5, and 6, the answer is 2. Well, why is the answer 2? Well, notice that 2 is the only element that doesn't occur in this set here, because of course we have 4 here, and we have 6 here. So, x is an element of A, well, this is A, and x isn't an element of B. Well, these two are, so the only thing we're left with is two. Hope I was able to help you. Thank you for watching.